so much for clicking on my video. So today I'll be unboxing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages. Let's get going. Okay, so I got Wujin's MMT photo card. Oh, it's been a some time since I got this. I actually just haven't opened it, which is why it's kind of crinkly. But luckily, it looks like the card is completely fine, so I'm happy. And so this is the back of the card. It looks like, oh, I thought there was like some kind of scratch, but it was just nothing, so that's good. So for the MMT cards, from what I remember, they actually don't have any tabs, so yeah, and it's, it looks centered. It looks exactly what um, the MMT cards are supposed to look like, so I'm pretty happy about it. I got this from uh, Wadniak on, I believe, Facebook. Uh, thank you so much for selling to me. I know I told you that I got it. I just haven't really gone to opening things in a while. So thank you so much for selling to me. Okay, and here's the next package. So I got Jisung's Smile For You postcard. Um, so fun fact, I actually have been thinking about collecting like Jisung um, kind of like unique, not unique, but like non-album kind of cards for a while now. And I don't know, I really like the Smile For You postcard, so I decided to get it. Although uh, I might sell it because I am thinking about trying for a fan sign in the future. So I'm like, uh, maybe. And then I also got these uh, Jemin chewing gum stickers. So I'm, I'm definitely not going to use them. I'm just going to like keep them. So uh, I don't really know what to explain. They're just like stickers basically. And these are official. So basically like they had like the sticker sheets kind of and I just got Jemin's. Um, I might be selling these too. Although I really, really like chewing gum Iris. I think I might, I might or I may or may not keep these just because if I keep Jemin's then I'm probably going to be looking for Jenos. But I don't know, chewing gum stickers can be overpriced. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Like, yeah, they're just sometimes just not worth it. They're just kind of small. So I'll think about it, but I'm probably gonna be selling some of this stuff. Also, I got this from Andrea Roca on Facebook. I've been selling, I'm not selling, I've been buying from her for a pretty long time now for like NCT stuff. And all of her stuff has been like really well packaged, first of all. She is so much tape on my package. I had such a hard time like getting everything off. Um, and then like she's good at packaging and also like she communicates pretty well and she ships pretty fast. So yeah. Okay so I I, I got uh, Jemin's NCT what was it called? I think it was birthday bracelet. Um, I, and some of you guys are probably like isn't that like really old? Yeah. As you guys know, I just suck at like opening things. So. <laughs> and this is the message that's selling me. So, hello, thank you for joining this group order. If you have time, please let us know that you received the item safely by taking a picture and tagging at N City Shop and at JJ Peach H. Please don't forget to use the hashtag N City Shop FB and hashtag JJ underscore receive. Thank you so much and have a great day. I'm pretty sure I made a post just with the packaging, not with the actual like item itself simply because uh as you guys know now <laughs> i just opened it so uh yeah um and so i actually usually um collect birthday goods just because they look really nice um but the thing is i decided not actually to buy the birthday kind of um necklaces this time just because they look so fragile like I don't know about you but like the past birthday goods have been like a little bit more sturdy or like the jewelry from like entity in like the jewelry in general has been like decently sturdy so I was like okay well whatever oh apparently I got the gold one I swear it's supposed to be rose gold but I guess they changed it whatever you know I don't really care um and so here's Gemin it says Gemin um 2000.08.13 which is his birthday August uh, 13th, 2000, and it has like this little emerald kind of gemstone thing right here. So that that's really cute actually. I would probably never wear it. It's kind of something that you like collect and like you put side by side, but you would actually never like wear. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, I have it now. <laughs> Finally opened it. Um, yeah, I'm just not gonna collect the birthday bracelets because as you guys know, like, I mean, in my opinion, I heard they're actually decently good quality, which is surprising to me because when you look at the some of their signatures, it's literally hanging on by like one like line. Like I, I just find that kind of unsettling. I mean, if you're just keeping it to just look at it, I think it would be fine. But I don't know if you're gonna try and wear it. I just I would just be really careful. And also, just another thing: why the heck did like I'm not complaining, but I'm pretty sure that Xiao Jin got his birthday necklace, like the signature birthday necklace thing. But then I'm pretty sure that I think Kun Ten was it Lucas. They didn't get birthday bracelets. Like, what the heck, SM? Like, if you cannot discriminate, like, just some of the wavy members. Like, they're all part of NCT. Like, what What even? Anyway, that's my rant on birthday stuff from SM. Okay, this is extremely late, but I got Wusuk's, um, first album. I, I was like, wait. <laughs> yes, first mini album. There we go. So, he basically became a soloist, kind of. Although, I wish that he did come back with Obtention with Jin Hyuk. Um, which reminds me, Obtention is having a comeback soon. So, I hope you guys will support them. They're a really good group. I really love them. So, yeah, give them love. Um, also for this go, actually, I decided to choose sealed, which I never do almost, um, and a uh, random version because I didn't really care which version I got. Um, so I later on actually started looking at the versions because I think I remember ordering before versions got released, but this is the version that I wanted, so I'm actually really happy. Um, and then for some of you guys who might be wondering what this is, it's part off and then you can scan this code. And there's a code on the back, this this barcode right here. If you scan that, then it, it this album, I guess, that I bought will be on, I believe, the Han Tail chart. So make sure you guys do that because it really does help for, like, album counts on the chart. So I'm just going to go through the MMT cards first because I did get this through an MMT order from Twitter. I can't exactly remember it. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, so these are MMT cards. Once again, I picked random because why not? Um, so these are the two MMT cards I got. Oh my god, they look so nice. I don't actually remember which MMT cards there were. So I'm only be keeping one of them because I don't really want to collect like a ton. I, I Usually when I collect like just a soloist, I don't usually collect like multiple cards. If you know what I mean? Um, but maybe sometimes. So it says right here, um, thank you so much for joining the we Talk My Music Taste group order. That's or that's basically just MMT. I hope the albums arrive safely as, uh, as this is the end of our Go journey. Feel free to um, follow me on social media. Stay tuned for want to host another Go. Thanks again for making my friends wish to me Wusa come true. Stay safe, Caitlin. Twitter at CaitlinWords19. Instagram at I Drop My Boba. <laughs> nice username. Um, so yeah, apparently she did this go for her friend who wanted to meet Wusuk because of the, what was it called, the Wusuk MMT fan sign kind of thing. I was thinking about joining, but I was just like, eh, yeah, no money. Um, so I did it, and instead I decided to join an order so that way somebody else could meet Wusuk, and I'm glad that, um, her friend was able to, so, cool. And they gave me a little freebie, the Wusuk from Produce X101 era, yay. So now I'm actually gonna open my album. Okay, so it says greed on the front. It has kind of like this little symbol. And it says first desire. Um, I guess this is like his, what was it called? The uh, the symbol, I guess the symbol. And it, right here it says, keen moment midnight, see the red moon on tonight, red moonlight. All I wanna do is take you down, come and take me now. So I think those are lyrics from a song actually. Um, and once again, here's the back, first desire, greed, intro, lost, red moon, symphony, somebody like you, do you like, beautiful, and the winter. So here's a kind of very like dark aesthetic in this album from what I'm getting at. Although I did kind of feel that during his MV, I was very shook. Anyway, and here it just says top media, Kako M, and accompany this, digital audio, you know, the usual. And I, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I really like this kind of album where it's like you open it, like it's like a treasure box you know it's like it's just there's like a hard case opening 
which protects the stuff inside, which I prefer just because like, you, you know, it's like, it's, it's just easier to store. First of all, it's easier to take care of. And also it's like, it doesn't get damaged as easily, I guess I should say. So there's a bunch of inclusions here, which I will carefully take out and we'll look at later because on this channel, we don't look in inclusions first and I can't take them out. So I'm just gonna leave it to the side. I'm gonna flip through the photo book. All right, uh, I know that there's been like a lot of like stuff already online, but there are no photo cards in the photo book. Okay, so I guess they're just out. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. There's already been a lot of videos on like, like flip through wise, like on the photo book, but I'm still gonna flip through it for my viewing pleasure because <laughs> I haven't looked at any yet. Yeah, this aesthetic just fits him so, so well. Like, oh my gosh. It's a very dark aesthetic. Like, he is like, I, I guess it's also because of like the album version I got too. I think on one of his other ones, it's supposed to be like a little bit more like, um, like a mysterious beauty rather than kind of like, um, kind of, how do you say this? It's like, there's like a difference between like, um, somebody like, clad in white but like being like super like oh my god like what's going on but then somebody like clad in like black and having like tattoos and stuff like there's usually just like a different type of aesthetic so i think that was the aesthetic of the, like the white version album i don't remember the version of the albums to be honest all i know is that there's supposed to be a white and a black version maybe th there's a red version too <laughs> i was like wait i swear there are three versions <laughs> Anyway, this is the version where he just wears a lot of black. That's all I'm gonna say. Pretty much. I'm pretty sure that the white version he wears a lot of white and the red version he wears a lot of red. <laughs> you know, just guessing. Just baby. You know, low-key, this reminds me of the Stray Kids album unboxing that I did when I unboxed, like, the yellow version, like, the, the B version album. And they were just wearing a lot of yellow. I was like, is, is this basically why, like, it's yellow on the front? Is it just because they're wearing yellow? So I guess it's the same for this. Because, you know, Alba's black, he's wearing black. Whoa. Anyway, inclusions. <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing this is a CD. Um, I already know photo cards fly, but whatever. I'm going to show you the CD first. So this is CD. It says green. So it's basically like the same thing as like the album. You guys see it? Yeah. I'm going to put this back because I'm, I'm scared. I'm going to scratch the CD. <laughs> okay, not going to lie. I really do like the songs from this album. I really, really do. All right, so I guess this is the photo card I got. Whoa, I've never seen this photo card before. <laughs> I, I'm not lying, like, I really haven't seen this photo card. Hmm. You know, honestly, if I didn't get it from my sealed album, I almost would've thought it's fake, because usually like promo, <laughs> like Lolo cards, which are basically like fake photo cards, or like fan-made photo cards, they say not fake photo cards. Um, they usually like look like this, to be honest. Although I know this is a photo card, because A, it came directly from my album, so there should be no reason why it's fake. Um, B, I see some kind of tabs, <laughs> and C, it looks centered. I don't see anything wrong with it, and it's like photo card quality. It's like it's shiny, so yeah. <laughs> and then I guess you also have like this um, see-through kind of thing that I guess has been popular. Wait, supposed to be like this? Oh, I guess he's upside down. Or is it supposed to be like this? Oh, oh ho ho! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, it's supposed to be like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, same as the rest of the album, as in the fact that he's clad in black. And then here's the stickers. I look real nice. I really like the aesthetics of this album. I know I keep saying that, but I really, really do. And then now there's a poster, which I'm going to attempt to get out. Okay, here we go. So here's the poster. Whoa! Okay, first of all, aesthetic-wise, just really nice. I really like the one to have like to use like the flowy kind of like transparent but colored curtains. I just really like that. Also, it's really nice quality poster. I'm not gonna lie. Like the quality, like whoa, okay, okay. Like feel-wise, this is a pretty nice quality poster. I'm not gonna lie, this as you guys can see, this part is a little damaged, but whatever. It's like the box part of the album. I don't really care. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back. Okay, here are my Astro albums. So these are actually out of print, um, same as like all of like the seasons kind of Astro um, albums. I really hope Fantagio puts them in print again because I don't wanna like pay so much for them. Luckily, I got these for actually really, really good prices. I got them for $7, including shipping each, which is what I would usually pay for an album. 
that doesn't have photo cards, I was like, yeah, I mean, like, why not, right? And then they're, they look like they're in perfect quality, so thank you uh, for selling to me. I bought it on Facebook, I believe. I don't remember from who, sorry. Um, and I am going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to do a flip through Whoa. of the Spring Up album. All right, so here's the Spring Up album. It says Changru, Moonbin, MJ, Jinjin, Rocky, Yunsana. Uh, Astro first mini album, Spring Up. Here's Astro symbol. And it says some numbers. 2016 Oh, okay, debut date. Um, Astro first mini album, Spring Up. Um, some stuff. As for first mini album, Spring Up, this is a track list. Um, bunch of Korean. My favorite one is like that Cat's Boots one, which is like the last one. I play that so many times. It's on my top 20 most played, like legitimately. And then it's just like, oh, it belongs to Fantasio, blah, blah, blah. And it's like the B May sticker. Oh, yeah. And this is from Interpark and Fantasio, because I guess that they usually print albums together. So, and here is the inside. This is the CD. I'm not going to take it out because it's kind of hard to take out. Oh, actually, wait. Oh, oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's how you take out the CD. Huh. After first mini albums, bring up, once again, the track list. And I'm going to start flipping from the back because why not? And here's the postcard. I thought that this was actually going to come damaged. I thought maybe it was just another person I was going to buy a Spring Up album from. But this is in perfect quality, so I'm really happy. They're all laughing happily. Yes. Yes. And this is the back. I know for some of them, this is supposed to be a signed back, I believe. Like, there's a moon bin, like, all of the members have signed back, so I should have seen this. So yeah, there's the postcard. I'm going to leave that aside while I do my flip through. Oh, is there anything on the oh there is something on the inside. So there's like a group picture of all of them. So here's Sanha, Moonbin, MJ, Unru, uh, Jinjin, and Rocky. Fun fact, my first bias was actually um, Moonbin, Unru, and Rocky. Those three were my biases. And then later on, I decided that I did like Moonbin and Unru better, and I just couldn't afford to keep collecting Rocky. So sorry. And now, uh, and I did actually drop Aster at one point in time. Just because I couldn't keep up with how many releases they were doing. Because they were doing releases like pretty often. And I was like, okay, okay. Um, but now I'm actually recollecting Astro. So uh, rip me. But I'm almost done. So it's okay. Um, so here's the flip through. Kind of like the same picture as you guys saw on the back. I think that, the, yeah, this is kind of like a sporty era. Because, you know, spring up, spring, you know, sports. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, lots of champion clubs. <laughs> I'm not being sponsored by them, and Astro's not being sponsored by them either. But whatever. Moonbin, our cat dog. Is it dog, cat, or cat dog? Do we call him dog, cat, or cat dog? You know, I never remember. I'm pretty sure it's cat dog. <sighs> Don't quote me on that. Oh, by the way, um, you guys should definitely see um, To Be Continued, which is like Astro's kind of like debut, like pre-debut pre kind of like thing, group kind of project, I guess it's a pre-debut project. Um, where basically, because um, Fantasio is pretty much originally an actor company, not gonna lie, and then they started um, debuting idols. And um, I guess Fantasio, you know, with their forte being acting, they decided that Astro would have a drama as a pre-debut project with um, Kim Sedong. By the way, she's such a good actor. She's one of my favorites and they did such a good job in the drama. Like, okay, there are some parts which were like, what? But uh, overall, it was actually pretty good. And I remember after watching it, I was like, oh, I wish this group was real. And then they were like, and then I saw online that this group actually was real and they were Astro. So I totally recommend getting into Astro if you haven't and watching the drama. So there's like this kind of flap thing in the front, just Changwu, and these are the um, Changwu, Moonbin, MJ, Jinjin, Rocky, Yunsana, and these are the years of their birth. By the way, I was actually pretty surprised that MJ was two years older than Jinjin. I always thought it was one. Oops. Anyway. <laughs> and, okay, I was going to say, I'm kind of mad about the fact that, you know, wait. Yeah, I know, two members got cut off. Like, what the heck? Anyway. And here is the Winter Dream album. The front is basically exactly the same as Spring Up one. And it says four, by the way, I didn't point this out earlier, but Spring Up album did have one right here because that was the first in the seasons kind of series. Um, this is Astro's special album, Winter Dream. And of course, there's Symbol. And if you go here, 
you can see the group picture once again and then same thing as the spring up one and here's the back of course same thing ask a special album with your dream track list the title god and candy you and me thanks erha huh? um and apparently you can't open the back flap i didn't notice this earlier you could with spring up too but it doesn't it doesn't mean that they, they still weren't cut off from the front picture which is i was kind of confused about i was like wait what why why <laughs> because it was in the back so yeah and here is the post card for winter dream wow sun had grew a ton just looking from spring up to winter dream i was like okay not gonna lie they did MJ dirty in this picture. Why? They put him next to Sana. <laughs> That's what he did. They did so dirty. They put one of the shortest members <laughs> as one of the tallest. Like, what even? By the way, I have seen Astro and I'm like in real life before. And oh my gosh, Sana really is like, he's so friggin' tall. Like, oh my god. I can't remember which era I saw him in. Oh god, why can't I remember? I can't remember which era it was that I saw him in. But like, oh my, he's so tall. Like, what even? Okay? Oh my gosh. And also, Moonbin and Uno be in their own world in that meet and greet in like KCON. Like, literally, like, I was like waving to them and they just they would just talk to each other like while they were like walking like the line because usually when you walk inside of like the convention center <clears throat> this is this area where like fans can like say hi to them and stuff obviously i didn't cross over the line or anything um because you're not supposed to don't do that um and when they were like walking into the convention center and i was actually in the front so i was really lucky um because they didn't state the time that they would do it like they would come in um, and I just happened to be there and everyone started like rushing and I was like what and I was in the front So I was really happy anyway So when they were like going in usually the idols are like wave like behind them because they go in like pretty slowly Not gonna lie because I have to open the doors and the security guards to go in the security goes in the back And then you know fans are pushing and they feel like a path and blah 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 And Moonman and Unu had like no care in the world They're just talking to each other and then they were like whatever guys and then all the other members were like hi I'm not saying that Moonman and Unu are antisocial. I'm just saying that they were literally just in their own world, which I completely understand, but still. Anyway, um, so I think that some of the bags are supposed to be signed as well. I know for Spring Up, they're definitely signed. I don't know about Winter Dream. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, on to actually flipping through the album. All right, as usual, I'm going to start from the back. That's not what I want to start from. Yes, there it is. There is a picture. Oh, it's cute. I guess Rocky is on Unu's lap and Moomin's staring down at him. And they're just laughing at whoever's on the, whoever's sleeping. Which is Rocky. Rocky's sleeping. Hmm. I see. Okay, and we're going to do a flip through. Obviously because it's winter dream, they're having kind of like a winter outfits, I guess. Although Rocky looks like it could be autumn rather than winter. I don't know. I feel like they would be kind of cold <laughs> if they actually wore this outside. I feel like, I feel like Sana, MJ, and Jinjin, bleh, Jinjin, no, did you say Jin? No, no, no. No, Jinjin looks, look like he would be cold. So would, does Moonbin. I think Rocky, MJ, and Sana are like dressed appropriately for winter. Uh, I guess it got a little bit bent. Oh, whatever. You know, if I put it underneath like a textbook, it would be fine. Like, honestly, this kind of stuff doesn't really bother me. Like, I know for a fact it bothers other people, and I totally understand why, because, you know, it is damaged, technically. But it doesn't bother me enough. Plus, it was, like, seven bucks, and uh, it's been such a long time, so it might have been even my fault, because uh, I left it alone. Oopsies. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, see, no. Like, this is, like, this is winter wear. Like, this is winter wear. I, I feel like this is kind of, like pushing it. I feel like it might be cold in the winter. You know, that's just me. Like, especially depending on what kind of winter weather you're used to. If it's like snowing, I'd be like, well, you know, I might dress warmly, more warmly at least. And then this is the same thing as in the Spring Up album. And then here's a CD. Ooh, I think this is supposed to be the other way, actually. I'm going to change that right now. So this is a white CD. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be like. Okay. Yep. All right, moving on to the next packet. Yeah. 
Okay, here are the NCT Dream Reload album, well, not albums, items that I got from SM Town and Store. By the way, can I just say that I hate the way that they package? <laughs> what, one, one freaking piece of bubble wrap for out of UK how many items that's not even closed by tape in a freaking box? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Anyway, so this is return and exchange information. Um, if you receive a defective or damaged product or like an exchange, please refer to the information below. Send his request within seven days of delivery. Well, and this is the back. This is just the location of the different stores. I believe that they already closed down the Coex, so you guys can no longer go there. But they are building a new one, so you guys can go there in the future. And these are the Reload Hollow standees that I got. I did get multiple of each member just because I thought it was a waste if I only got the ones I needed which is just one Geno and one Gemin and then having to pay like $24 shipping because for some reason SM refuses to get like bubble mailers or anything like that and they're just like no we're gonna put it in a single box. If it doesn't fit in the box then you're screwed okay. We're just gonna use a bigger box and make you <laughs> charge you even more shipping or you can fit this one thing with one piece of bubble mailer like this and just shove it in a box. That's literally what they do if you only buy like one, which I think is just ridiculous, which is why either join group orders or buy it yourself. And I decided I'll buy it myself. Like screw it, okay? <laughs> anyway, so I got two head charms, which look like this, and then the backs are pretty much all the same. And then, okay, this is upside down, and I got two dungeons which reminds me i do have one dungeon left over i did resell these because obviously i don't need this many and i got three gemins actually the reason being so i wanted like two extras of each member um and i'm keeping one gemin for myself which is why i got two extras so um i believe that i sold all of my gemins so no more are available for him and i bought three genos i do have two extra genos. I haven't sold any of my extras. So if you guys are interested, I do ship worldwide. So if you guys are interested, please comment down below, DM me on Instagram, Twitter, the usual. And then I got one G-Song. I believe that I have already sold them. I ended up not buying any uh, Chunla just because um, I already went over <laughs> what I needed. Um, and then somebody asked me to get G-Songs. So that's what I got. Um, some of these were from people, like, what people wanted before I even, like, bought. I was just, like, saying, we want anything. People were like, yeah, I'll buy this. Or, like, I, I want this. Because I didn't really see a lot of group orders for them. Um, so I was just like, okay, I guess I'll do it. So, yeah. So I have two extra Genos and one extra dungeon. If you guys are interested, please buy it. Okay, so this is my MCND V Live fan kit. Here's the usual, you know, exchange guide if something's wrong, blah blah blah. Which reminds me that um, when I did my one S unboxing, you guys, um, I did mention that part of it was wrong, as in like I think Hanum's like the back of his like large card kind of thing. Um, his birthday was wrong. So I did actually message uh, VLive and they did send me a refund, although it took a really long time. Not a refund, but um, they sent me a replacement product, although it took a really long time. So they do actually give you replacements if you bother them enough. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. So this is Gem, because you know, that's what our fandom name is called. I'm seeing the official fanship, Gem first. Um, it says, hello Gem, right here, and then on the back, there's just blue. It's manufactured by Top Media, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, NCND is a Top Media group. Also, I feel like the way that these boxes look, they look so nice, you know? Like, the way that they all open and stuff, they're pretty sturdy, actually. So, I like it. So, here's the inside. Okay, so here's the inside of the fan kit. So, here's a little photo card set. So cute, so cute. Um, and then here's like this pin. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> Although I don't know. I might sell my keep. I'll think about it. And then here's like this little like wallet keychain kind of thing, I guess. And then what's this? I actually haven't looked at what all of what, what comes inside the fan kit. So, so this is gem. It's kind of like the little pin kind of thing right here. This is MCND official fanship gem first. 
and then it says something in Korean, um, which I don't want to read right now. And then here's them being happy, you know, throwing like colorful balls in the air. You know, and this is the f official fanship card. I'm not going to show you guys it super clearly because it does have my name and my number. So, yeah. But uh, basically, it. Okay, I actually just cover it actually. Here we go. So, it says MTND official fanship gem first, and it has a picture of them with like popsicles i guess <laughs> or ice cream yeah and then win with his little rubber ducky on top so that's for what this is i guess just to hold the card usually the card comes like the front and i was just like where's the card oh that's where it was and then here's like the that's what the id kind of said i was talking about i think that you're supposed to go in here we'll see if they fit later and then here's a little sticker set that they have all these gems you know fandom name this, oh, and I was mentioning earlier that MCND is having a comeback, so please um, promote them, I guess. <laughs> please stream and etc. Uh, I am doing a group order for them in the future, um, US only, um, because shipping abroad is just insane. Um, because I want to do another kind of like fan sign with them. So yeah, please order from me. Um, please order with me, I guess. Anyway. And this is the first photo book. Uh, let's do a little flip through. Oh, red hair, Jin Hyuk. Yes. And Hui Jin also has kind of like red hair too. Oh. It always amazes me how tall he is. <laughs> like, okay, blue contacts plus like reddish pink hair. Yes. This is a win for Jin Hyuk's stance. Hui Jin. Beret? Beret? I'm so bad at pronouncing that word. Gosh. And then here is Min Jae. Oh my gosh, big. Looks so good. Silently flip through. There's a lot of sparkly kind of... Sparkly blue themes. Yes. I'm pretty sure we got our colors already, although I'm so bad at memorizing, memorizing which color, like what, what like fandom colors or like what are the official colors of groups just because that some of them like overlap a little bit and I'm like, wait, I think that this is the color but at the same time I can't 100% remember. So I'm sorry if I don't remember <laughs> the colors. There are just so many groups that I stand. RIP. Um, See, I feel like they're like popsicles. It's more like ice cream rather than popsicles. Also, what is with the paper clips? Like, there's so many of these. Like, they always wear them as earrings or like accessories. I guess they're just extremely popular. And here's what was in the front. So that's flip through of the photo book. And then is this just like the bottom? I guess there's supposed to be stuff on the inside. We'll see. All right, bottom of the box. So I did actually take this out to see if there's anything inside and there was absolutely nothing. I have no idea why they have this. <laughs> what even? Okay, whatever. You know, I guess I just put all the stuff like inside here and then I'll put this on top just so I can save space. Cause that makes more sense in my opinion. Anyway, I'm gonna just put this here and then we're gonna take a look at the photo cards now because that's what you've been waiting for. Okay, so these are the photo cards. I will be selling a couple of them because I only collect Castle J and Win. And personally, I don't, I'm not really thinking about collecting non-album items um, just because they cost too much and they had so many non-album uh, non items. So I was like, eh. So here's Castle J's, Bix, Minjay, Legend and Win, and here are the backs, the signatures. So here's Win's signature. Here's Huijin's signature. Min Jae's always very like pronounced, I guess. And here's Bix. Bix's signature is always like so cute. Like look, and then Castle Jay's. Castle Jay's is so cool. I just love the signature. So I will be selling. Um, Fujin, Minjae, and Bix photo cards. I'll be keeping Castle J and Win because they are my biases. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I know somebody who might be buying Bix, but for now I'm just going to say that these three are for sale. And I do actually have Minjae and Poojin's picnic fan sign brought the picnic fan sign photo cards for sale so any of you guys are interested please do let me know i do ship worldwide for photo cards and now time to look at id cards so here are the little kind of id cards i guess that they're called i don't really know what else to call them so there's one for each member just like the photo cards so i don't know if i'm gonna keep these as well so here's castle j's fix I'll actually put them closer later. Min J, Puijin, and Win. And there's nothing on the back, it's just white. So these are the little ID kind of things. I was silent because I was just like the camera focused. Oh my gosh. Min J. I might be selling all except for Castle J and Win. I will think about it. Yeah, those are a lot. Oh! I dropped one. <laughs> so those are the ID sets. And now I'm going to take a look at this. So I guess this is a little like ID holder keychain kind of thing. It's actually, it looks really nice. So this is Gem MCND official fan ship. Gem first. And the reason why I say keychain kind of thing is because it has this. It is a little bit damaged. Whatever. <sighs> Christ. Oh, okay. So it has kind of like these plastic sleeve things, which I guess are supposed to be used to hold those ID kind of cards in. Personally, I hate using these simply because um, they can get easily damaged. I just don't think that is worth using these. Yeah. I mean, if you guys are interested in buying, I'll totally sell them. Like, if you want to put, like, stickers or, like, small, like, unofficial stuff, I think it's worth it. Or, like, maybe you guys have important information you need to memorize. You guys can just, like, put it in here, you know, flip through your little keychain book kind of thing and be like, yeah, no, I know what this is. Like, I remember. Or even if you have, like, memo or, like, little post-its, you can, like, put it in here, too. Like, that'd be nice. So maybe I'll use it for that or I'll just sell it because it... It is, it does look fairly nice actually. It's kind of like almost like a leather kind of product. So it's not bad. You know, I could put this on like my bag or something like that and just carry it around. It looks nice. So yeah. So that's pretty much it for the fan sign. Oh, uh, not the fan sign. The fan kit. Yeah. All right. So this is practically my entire haul for today. So just to recap what I unboxed today, I got a bunch of Reload Hollow standees. Um, which I am selling some of them. I'm selling two Geno standees. I'm selling one Nonjin standee. If you guys are interested, comment down below, DM, you know, usual. And then I got two uh, Astro albums. I got the Winter Dream album, the Spring Up album. I got Woosuk's, um first mini album. I got Jemin's NCT um, birthday bracelet from last year, not this year, because this year it's a necklace. And then I got Jisung Small for You postcard. Uh, and then I got some Wusuk MMT photo cards. I got Wujin's um, MMT photo card. I got Jemin's chewing gum stickers. And then I got this beautiful MCND fan kit, which I will be selling parts of. As I stated earlier, I am selling probably those stickers, not going to lie. Probably that as well because I don't feel like I need it. And then probably the MMT photo cards, at least one of them. I have to choose which one. Um, I already told you I'm selling some of the Reload standees. Um, and then I'm also selling some of the MCND ID photos and the, um, whatchamacallit, photo cards. Yep. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please click the subscribe button down below and check out the rest of my channel. If you guys want to see more, check out the rest of my channel. And if you guys want to get notifications for my channel, please click the bell icon down below. If you guys liked the video today, please click the like button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!